in this part we will talk about arts. Arts basically it, the full form is assisted reproductive technologies. Assisted reproductive technology and these are various methods which are used to assist couples who are not able to have children for various reasons. The reasons could be uh, the female may have obstructed fallopian tube, ovary is functioning normally, egg is produced but because of the obstruction in the fallopian tube, the egg is not able to reach up to the uterus. Fertilization is also not possible. Another problem could be oligospermia where the sperm count is very less. So to such couples, these kind of techniques help in having children. There are various techniques which are put under this arts. One is test tube baby. The second is known as GIFT, GIFT. It is gamut intrafallopian transfer. Third is known as AI, artificial insemination. And the fourth is intracellular sperm injection. We will take all these techniques one by one. We'll start with this one. So we are first talking about the technique of test tube baby. Let us first have some historical uh, information about this. The first ever successful experiment was done by Dr. Petrucci in the year 1959 where this technique was used and the embryo survived only for 29 days. Embryo survived for 29 days but this was the first thing and after that all over the world this process was started. Now coming to the first successful thing where the baby was born which was the first test tube baby, world's first test tube baby. World's first test tube baby. The doctors who did this or those who were assisting the couple, the parents of this first baby, the doctors were Dr. Stepto and Dr. Robert Edward. And the name of the first test tube baby, world's first test tube baby was Louis Joy Brown. And she was born in 1978. So this was the first baby, first test tube baby. And the doctors who helped were Dr. Stepto and Edward. The problem that was faced by the parents of this girl, the mother had obstructed fallopian tube. So in this, by this technique, they had the first uh, baby and this Louis Joy Brown became the world's first test tube baby. Now coming to India's first test tube baby. India's first test tube baby. Her name is Kanupriya Agrawal. She is also known as Durga. So at some places you may find Durga written, but her actual name is Kanupriya Agrava. And the doctor who helped in this process was Dr. Subhash Mukherjee. And this was also in 1978. So, Kanupriya Agrawal is the India's first test tube baby. Louis Joy Brown is world's first test tube baby. Now, how is the technique performed? We have talked of why is this kind of technique required. Now, how? Step number one is 
the egg is taken. Now this egg can be taken from the mother itself. In this case, it was taken from the mother because the ovaries were normal function, uh, normally functioning. Only the fallopian tube was obstructed. So egg is taken out. This egg is fertilized using the sperm from the father only. So egg is fertilized. Now, this fertilization is done in vitro. In vitro. What exactly is meant by this in vitro fertilization? In vitro fertilization means fertilization outside the body in the same conditions like body. That means all the conditions which exist in the body, same conditions are uh, maintained, but fertilization is taking place outside the body. Now, because this was done outside the body in a petri dish, but in a laboratory condition, that means it was done outside the body. And that is why, and normally, whenever we do anything in a lab, test tube is the most common thing or the structure that we use. So, because it was done outside the body in a laboratory, people started calling this baby test tube baby. Earlier, when this concept was very, very new, people had no idea what exactly is happening. So they thought that the baby was produced inside a test tube actually. But it was only this in vitro fertilization which was done. After in vitro fertilization, zygote was allowed to divide. Zygote started to divide. It was stimulated to divide in vitro. That means fertilization is outside the body. Zygote divides outside the body. And now this has to be put back into the mother's body. In case of this first case, as I said, the mother had obstructed fallopian tube. So the egg was taken from the female. The sperms from the father. Egg was fertilized. Zygote was formed in the uh, lab condition, in vitro, and then this zygote was transferred into the uterus of the mother. Now, when can the zygote be transferred? So, transfer of the zygote can be done in two ways. One is known as zygote intrafallopian transfer, Z-I-F-T, zygote intra fallopian transfer that means after the zygote has divided it is put back into the fallopian tube this is done when the zygote has divided and it is at eight cell stage at eight cell stage zygote at eight cell stage is put in the fallopian tube of the female or of the mother. And that is why we are calling it intrafallopian. Second is, if the zygote is allowed to divide beyond 8 cell stage, normally till 32 cell stage, then it has to be put into the uterus. Then it is called intrauterine transfer. Intra uterine transfer. This is done at 32 cell stage. So zygote, zygote at 32 cell stage is put in the uterus of the female. And the complete development of this embryo takes place in the uterus of the mother itself. In case if it is oligospermia, say the couple, ovary normal, fallopian tube normal, everything normal in case of female. But if the male is not able to produce sufficient number of sperm, then also this can be used. Or there is another technique which is called artificial insemination that can also be used. This technique is normally used when the fallopian tube is obstructed. So here the egg was is fertilized with the sperms from father normally. 
but it can be taken from a donor also. So this is the technique of test tube babies. And the reason why these babies are called test tube babies because a part of the process is done in laboratory. But this is very important, which is in vitro fertilization. In vitro is outside the body, but in same conditions. That means everything has to be maintained as if it is like inside the body. The temperature, pH, condition, everything is same as body, but it is done outside. This is known as in vitro. And zygote intrafallopian transfer, it depends when we want to put that embryo into the body. If it is 8 cell, then it is done in fallopian tube. If it is beyond 8 cell, normally 32 cell stays then it is implanted in the uterus. And the female who is going to receive this embryo, her body is also treated with hormones so that the uterus is ready to receive that embryo and implantation can take place. So this is about the first technique under arts that is test tube baby. In the next part, we'll take up the other techniques.